Mental illness does not have an appearance at all. No matter what, if it's anxiety, depression, bipolar, eating disorders, whatever, there is not a specific appearance to a mental illness. Good morning, internet friends. How are we doing today? These two are doing fight. Put your money in on who's going to win. I say it's going to be a draw again. And Sassy's doing, why are they doing this again? So, it's Tuesday morning. And I've got class. Exciting. And yes, I'm wearing the same beanie from yesterday. It was thunderstorming, so I couldn't wash my hair last night. So, hats are the best way to cover up the fact that your hair looks gross. Just FYI for you guys. Um, don't really know what else is going on today. MRL Hush. I may be heading to the vet's office because I found, while scooping poop outside, I found a worm in someone's poop and I don't know whose it is. So my mom thought, why not go ahead and get wor dewormer for all of them just to be safe. So I think that's what we're gonna be doing. We'll see. So, yeah, just wanted to let you guys know good morning. I'll check back in with you later. Hey guys, there's Sassafras on the couch. The boys are downstairs. Riddler was flipping out for forever because there were people outside that weren't the family. And if there's anybody new outside he's just like holy freaking crap why am i not there again fomo dog very 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 extremely fomo so um what has happened today went to the vet and got dewormer for the dogs because i don't think i told you guys this but yesterday while i was scooping poop off of the driveway I happened to notice that one little pile contained a tapeworm. And I didn't know whose it was. And, like, my guess is it's one of the boys. And I couldn't get them to freaking poop again so that I could see if one of them has tapeworms. So, my mom suggested, you know what, go ahead and get wormer for all three dogs. Just in case. And I mean, they're all due for wormer anyway. And it's not going to hurt them. Um, my dad thinks that it's probably from them drinking water from the creek. Because we have a lake by my house and the dogs love it. So that's where the theory is from. So got the warmer for them. And then we went grocery shopping. Tyler's making lasagna for dinner tonight. And then Thursday I'm making basically a chicken parmesan with slices of avocado on top. So yum. Um, let's see. What else? Um, I learned Riddler's too smart for his own good. So, because of their weight, Riddler had to get two tablets of dewormer. Sassy got one and a quarter tablet. And MRL got one. And for each dog, I wrapped their tablets in turkey. Because I figured, oh, you know, they'll just swallow it down, no big deal. Well, Riddler managed to just eat the turkey and spit out his two tablets. So, I had to shove those down his throat. That's always fun to do. Um... Sassy kind of managed to chew hers and spit out the pieces, so I had to shove them down her throat. And MRL, of course, was just like, bottom, yum. Um, let's see. I got a shower, which is good because I wasn't able to take a shower because of thunderstorms. And then I got excited. I had forgotten that I was supposed to meet up with a couple of friends tonight. And I was just like, I really don't want to go anywhere. Because I think I'm still kind of recovering from the weekend. And I just really don't feel like dealing with people. And luckily, it happens to be storming. So we decided to put it off. So yay! Canceled plans! An anxious person's favorite thing is canceled plans. Also good for introverts. Um. So... What else did I do? I'm now getting the vlog uploaded from yesterday. And I'm just waiting for the... 
ridiculous amount of comments being like, you suck at training because I'm not very good at scent training my dog, even though it was the very first time we were working on scent training. So, yay! Oh, and I also want to point out interesting things. So, I love hearing from you guys. I really do. Whether it's in the comments on YouTube or like in a private message or in a comment on some other social media. Because if you guys don't know, I'm also on Facebook. I'm on Tumblr, Twitter, and Snapchat. And Instagram. Riddler's, not Riddler, MRL's on Instagram too. Um, so I got a Snapchat from one of you guys. That's basically saying that they love my vlog and were so inspired by the fact that, like, despite having anxiety, I can deal with negative people. Which, <laughs> yeah, fun times. But it made me think of a comment I actually got earlier today, and it was not online. It was actually from one of my group members. After class, we hung around to work on our project. It's actually due to be presented on Friday. <laughs> Great. Um, and I happened to mention that, oh, I get super duper anxious before presenting and after presenting. And one of my group members looks at me and goes, you get anxious about this, but you seem so cool and calm and collected. I'm like, I have generalized anxiety disorder and panic disorder. So no. And that actually shocked her. So I have gotten that a lot where people are like, you don't look like you have anxiety or you can't be anxious. You do this, that, or the other. With one of my favorites being when I was at a cosplay convention and I had done a panel and somebody was like, wait, you have anxiety, but you just did a panel. So I know some people would get offended by being told, oh, you like, you don't look like you have anxiety, but I actually don't mind when people say it. Sorry, if the camera keeps moving, I'm like trying to get comfortable. But, um, I use it as a learning opportunity for people because as you know of course it's a stigma on anxiety and my guess is people think of anxiety as people who can't leave their houses who are like <sighs> constantly rocking back and forth hyperventilating and like when they're out in public they are obviously anxious as heck but that's only a very small percentage of people because fun fact, anxiety is actually the number one top diagnosed mental illness in the world. Except for in East Asia and Eastern Europe. Weird fact for you. And depending on which country, is which anxiety disorder is more prevalent. Fun fact again. Yay, fun facts. Um, so, a lot more people have anxiety than people think. But because they are focused on this stigma, thinking that this is what anxiety looks like, or that anxiety has a specific look to them, that, you know, people that they know or work with don't have anxiety. So for you guys who don't really understand mental illness, mental illness does not have an appearance at all. No matter what, if it's anxiety, depression, bipolar, eating disorders, whatever, there is not a specific appearance to a mental illness or maybe for addiction like drug addiction after a while but not the point so like your best friend your mom your co-worker your teacher they could have anxiety and you don't know I know recently I've been seeing a lot of um, articles coming out about high functioning anxiety and to me I'm just like you know Anxiety is anxiety. Whether you can go out and smile and pretend everything's okay, or if you are curled up in a corner freaking out. Anxiety is anxiety. And I think most of the people in the world now have high functioning anxiety because we are expected to continue life like nothing is going on. Like our brains are not just trying to like destroy itself or something. So if people tell me that I don't look like I have anxiety, I'd like to use it as an opportunity to teach them. Anxiety doesn't have an appearance. Anxiety does not have a specific look to it. I can do my job. I can do school. I can do stuff. But doesn't mean that I don't have anxiety. So, 
Yeah, those are the thoughts that I had for today. Hey guys! So there's Mr. Amarel, looking all sleepy, ready for bed. And there's Mr. Riddler, already sleeping. Alright guys, so I'm going to give you a little bit of TMI, but it's like a public service announcement at the same time because this is super important. It's gross, but important. Alright, so if you live on or near any land that has horses and like a lake or a creek, basically a water source that goes through that pasture at some point and your dog can get to it, you need to know that some dewormers that are used for horses, a lot of them do not cover for tapeworms. That being said, even though tapeworms can be found in the feces, apparently they can live in water. And how do I know this? Because I figured out tonight that Emerald was the one with worms. Because he had some six foot long worms. Disgusting, I know. But, I thought I would tell you guys so that you could be made aware if you are, like, in my house, of course, we used to own horses. And I live by a lake and a creek, and the dogs have been drinking out of the creek lately. I mean, all three of my dogs have been wormed, just be safe. And luckily we caught this, because, like, Emerald didn't really look like he was losing weight, but he, apparently he wasn't really gaining weight either. Otherwise he still acted like himself, but... I thought I'd let you guys know, so if you live around pasture areas with bodies of water, to be aware of that. Um, if you feel like you need to worm your dog, go ahead and do it. You need to keep up with their wormer anyway. It's like every month. Just like with their heartworm and flea prevention and blah blah blah. Um, I know some medicines lately cover heartworm, fleas, and intestinal worms. But you could get a wormer just for that. So, TMI slash PSA because I don't want you guys to have your dogs suffer with tapeworms, which luckily, little fluff butt over there didn't really act like he was suffering, but still, I bet he feels a lot better. Don't you, baby? You feel better? Can we go sleep now, Mommy? Yeah. So... Oh, and if you guys may notice by now, I've made a brand new logo for pressing the painted button. It took me a while to figure it out. I wanted a button, but I didn't know exactly how I wanted it, so I ended up doing a play button. Because, you know, <laughs> pressing the panic button and play button. I do vlogs. Huh? And it's turquoise for two reasons. One, turquoise is the color for anxiety awareness. And it also happens to be my favorite color. So, yay! We just put everything together. So, give me a thumbs up if you like the new, um, profile picture. I just can't change the one for Snapchat, unfortunately, but that's okay. And now I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Um, question of the day is... Okay, since I talked about that, that... Turquoise is the color for anxiety awareness. I want you guys to do a little research with whatever mental or physical conditions that you have and find out the awareness colors for those. And let me know in the comments. I want to say, if I remember right, um, I think green is depression. Um... And I want to say ADHD is yellow, but I really don't remember that. I know green and turquoise. So put your colors down below, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Good night, Mr. Riddler. Good night, Mr. Amarel. I'm glad that you're feeling a lot better.